On the 3rd of June 2023, a party of us from the Dungannon Methodist Circuit headed off on a church outing, a riverboat cruise. Not up the Danube, mind you, but rather up the Blackwater in County Tyrone. But with clear blue skies and hot summer sunshine, it was really most pleasant. And afterwards, a picnic awaited us on our return. We set off from the jetty at Salt Marine, passing under the historic Verners Bridge at Tamnamore and then upstream towards Moy. Verner's Bridge is an iron structure. It dates back to the late 1800s and is an interesting landmark in the area. It crosses the Blackwater just beside the busy motorway bridge. The adjacent motorway is a constant source of noise and activity. But we soon left all that behind as we entered a world of perfect peace and tranquility. Our boat is managed by the Blackwater Community Barge Project and its pilot supplied us with a fascinating commentary featuring the local history of the area as we sailed along. But soon, there's a new captain at the helm. These metal pillars are all that remains of the once impressive five-span iron lattice viaduct, a bridge that carried the Portadown to Dungannon Railway over the Blackwater. The railway opened in 1858 and was of course subsequently extended beyond Dungannon. It remained in operation for over 100 years until eventually it shut down in the 1960s. Ahead of us is what is known locally as Bonds Bridge. It is a truly magnificent listed structure built in 1895 and named after the Bond family who were the former owners of the rather grand estate and large gentleman's residence just shortly to the left of us. At one time McGook Bond was a very prominent family. Today however the estate and mansion house it is owned by the National Trust and it is referred to as the Argery. The grounds are a lovely place to explore, while alongside the river, a path extends for some distance and is extremely popular among locals. As we sail along, we inevitably pass fishermen, many of which seem to sit on the banks of the river all day long. There are also people relaxing and giving us a friendly wave. We also have to be aware of other river users, canoeists in this case, and negotiate our way around them. This is our only glimpse of the big house. It is more visible in the winter when the leaves are off the trees. The odd historic monument also pops up along the way. There is an abundance of wildlife around the river, particularly herons. There are also kingfishers. I saw several, but unfortunately I wasn't quick enough with my camera. But we are making our way towards Moy, and soon we shall go under the Charlemont Bridge, which at this moment is straight ahead of us. We have reached Moy, and this is as far as we go, because further on the river becomes shallow and much more difficult to navigate. So we have turned around and are heading back to view the river from a different direction. So soon we'll be once again going onto the Charlemont Bridge. And well, 
It's all downstream from then on. The busy motorway bridge is straight ahead of us. Many thousands of people travel over that bridge every day, but very few have ever travelled under it. But that is what we are just about to do. There's not too much in the way of headroom, and after a period of heavy rain there would be even less. But we have no fear of that today. We go under the bridge, travel on a short distance, and then turn around and come back to the jetty where we set off. <laughs> 